uh, <clears throat> I think uh, there are two sets, two sets of answers to to these questions. The answers are complete, complementar, complementary. There is no conflict between them. Between them, at, at the level of the individual, our development development is aimed at the self-respect that self-respect and that and that can come only from er, from earning our own rewards our goal is the the peace of mind that that deri that derives from choosing our own leaves per, uh, pursuing the the inside Des, des, destiny, 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 and that feels uh, truly like our own. At the at the level of society, our society, our most most meaningful progress is that which brings us brings us to a point of being able to give back being able to give back this uh, this giving back ca can take a million uh, giving back can take a million different a million different different forms it reside uh, it resides resides equally in the in the grandest uh, just gestures Guess, gestures, gestures, and the smallest kindness, uh, kindnesses, teaching and mentoring, mentoring are ways of giving back. Dominating, dominate, uh, donating, and donating time is at least as important as donating money. Di uh, diary, uh, directing our work outward outward toward, uh, toward the common good common good rather than for for private for private gain is a is a way of giving back Stre uh, stretching beyond our comfort zone to engage a wider world is a way of giving back when the giving back involves significant significant uh, sums of money we uh, we seem to feel the need to attach a, a fancier word uh, attach a fancier word to it we call we call it a violent violent trophy but the uh, but this in my view is another another instance of a fam familiar word being being slop sloppily sloppily used and therefore straying from its original and purer meaning purer meaning as uh, as commonly used violent violent Philanthropy seems to apply only to large, only to large cash contributions, as if giving back were giving back were the sole sole uh, pre prerogative prerogative of the wealthy and the soci socially prominent. In it, in its Original definition. Original definition. However, however, philanthropy uh, has nothing to do with money or status. The word, uh, the word derives from two from two Greek roots, philo, which means love, and also, of course yields the word philosophy or love of knowledge and and anthropos or hu uh, humankind humankind 
as in anthropolo anthropology with with the cob dust 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 of then then we see that philanthropy philanthropy uh, means nothing nothing more or less than the expression of the love we feel uh, we feel more for uh, we feel for one another and the sense of solidarity that makes us want to share money can money can help of course it can but it is not the sense of philan philanthropy philanthropy uh, the the sense is the spirit in which the giving back is pra practiced and uh, and developing that spirit is within the reach of all of us some uh, some people seem some people seem to believe that giving back is basically just just an add on to a successful life a successful life we've we've made money we give some of some of it away again the the giving becomes a token token a token of our standing the more uh, the more we donate we donate the more important we we must be and of course the sharing of our wealth can help to re can help to relieve to relieve that pernicious sense of gift guilt the discomfort that goes with being among the among the lucky ones uh, lucky ones in an un unfair world unfair world there uh, there is nothing uh, there is nothing nothing wrong with any of that the impulse the impulse to give is always uh, positive Ch charitab uh, charitably charitable do uh, donations are always well always welcome uh, always welcome but uh, but i i would egg i would argue that the most that the most uh, genuine genuine and consequent consequential forms of giving back are much more than an add-on add-on rather they are an in integral integral part of who we are and that we do they spring they spring or or organic or organically from our values and beliefs unlike uh, unlike say the unlike say the mayor uh, mayor mayor uh, writing of a check uh, this more uh, this more profession prof more personal sort of giving back is not a one way transaction it's the beginning beginning of what i think uh, what i think of as a, of as an an enrichment loop we give our uh, we give of ourselves we get back from the world we discover that we have yet more to more to give I'm happy to say that I can illustrate the workings of this loop with an example from my own experience. As as I as I've mentioned fairly fairly early in my career, I started growing I started growing restless with with what had been my my bread my bread and butter work writing music for for commercials 
so I so I uh, so I see you see into writing songs and producing my own CDs this was relatively more more fulfilling more fulfilling but but still left but still left me with a, with a nagging questions what was the music for i'd been i i'd been blessed with at least a certain degree of degree of talent and the way where with all where with all to follow my own passion wasn't there some larger purpose purpose or meaning toward which which my effort efforts should be should be geared at at around uh, at around this time i became i became captivated by which i which I, uh, which i which i mean not only in intellectual intellectually curious but emotionally but emotionally touched as uh, touched as well by native by native american culture culture and history and this and this as i i reala realized only in re uh, only in retrospect was uh, the beginning of a wonderful en enrichment loop like any person of conscience like any person of conscience i was uh, i was ashamed and horrified horrified at the treatment uh, treatment uh, method uh, met, met, meted out to the indians by the white government and settlers and the idea of idea of manifest this the uh, destiny destiny in the in the name of progress native people had been light had been light to uh, light to double cross it and ma mass massacre it mass mass uh, massacre it massacre it massacre it the land they lived on had uh, the land they lived on had been taken away and subjected subjected to a concept of own uh, ownership that was completely for uh, foreign to their society much more than than mayor mayor acreage Acreage was acreage was lost along the way. Native uh, native culture culture native cultures cultures uh, the uh, the product of thousands thousands of uh, thousands of years of uh, obs observation knowledge and live, living sub sub sustainably with nature had been had been trampled and dismissed who uh, who could imagine the value of the wisdom environmental spir spiritual social even uh, even medical uh, that had been so dis disrespectfully swept aside i i, I resolved to do something to call attention to the importance of in indigenous indig indigenous knowledge and to help foster and climate climate of in interest and respect in which at least some some fragments of native beliefs and practice practice uh, practices might be rekindled but let me but let me make a few things clear about this revolu res resolution 
No one taught me to do this. It wasn't a case. It wasn't a case of should a case of should, and it certainly wasn't an add-on. Add-on. I became involved with native culture because I wanted to. I don't think it's overly dramatic to, to say I needed to. This invo uh, this involvement was a uh, this involvement was a uh, fun fun uh, function function of some of the most basic values and values most basic values I absorbed from my family values about civil civil rights and and human human dignity and solidarity. It wasn't a matter of taking on a cause. It was a matter of doing what felt right. For me, the natural way to get, to get involved was the raw music. But but I quickly <clears throat> but I quickly reali realized that if I hoped to have anything of value, anything of value to give, uh, to give, I first had a lot, had a lot to learn. In other, in other words, even the intention, intention to give back was en enough to set the, enough to set the enrichment loop, e enrichment loop in motion i uh, i started reading uh, voraciously i went to the li library found the native american section began with the with the a's and just keep doing uh, ch just keep going along the, along the way i became I became in, in, tri, introduced with, with native language, not only with their forms and uh, not only with their forms and meanings, but but with their with their uh, ca cadence uh, cadence and how their particular particular. Uh, ri rit rhythms and fra phrasing could be set to music. This in turn started me thinking uh, thinking about composing for a choir. Note that note that my music writing career career had begun with with ten second inter interstitials. Then, then move it, move it on, move it on to thirty, se 30 second commercials, uh, then to four, then to four minute, four minute songs. But now I was making a qu quantum leap, both in scale and in the forces I was writing for. Uh, what in what? What emboldened me to do this? What, uh, what gave me the con confidence to, ma to take to take uh, uh, to take on bigger things? It was it was uh, the fact that I was now I was now uh, dedicating and dedicating my work. To something larger than myself, a larger purpose called for larger music. Again, I was be I was being enriched, getting at least as much as I was giving. Around this time, through through my my association with Kevin Kevin Costner and the work I'd done on. I done on dances with wolves. 
I was pre I was present pre I was pre presented with an extra extraordinary opportunity, the uh, the chance to write eight hours of music for the for the uh, mi mini series Five Hundred Nations. I am proud to say to say that my my score. My score was criti critically, uh, critically acc acc acclaimed, uh, critically acc acclaimed. But I was e but I was even more proud to be to be associated with a project that acknowledged acknowledged the var variety variety and importance of native cultures and that helped and that helped create create aware, awareness of the present the present day uh, re, re, realities of native americans both on and both on and of the res, reservation the the mini series ended my de my desire to to stay involved with native issues did not hoping to build uh, hoping to build on the moment momentum of 500 nations i began i began thinking about about a multi uh, multi multimedia presentation presentation that would that would combine music dance combine music dance storytelling and visuals that thus was born thus was born spirit which would which would begin its life as a P PBS pledge breaks break special then go then go on to to tour as a live live uh, theater theatrical event uh, at the at the out outside however there were a few small difficulties to av to overcome uh, one of these one of these one of these was that I had no idea how to create a live the theatrical event. Once again, I was uh, I was forced to stretch, to stretch, uh, to learn, to to enrich myself in the name of in the name of having something to offer to offer back. Uh, by this time, by this time, I'd wo I'd worked for for ye I'd worked for years at the at the craft of the uh, craft of matching sound to image, using using music to to advance a story, but the but the story itself had always always uh, pre pre. Preexisted, preexisted. Uh, that was someone el else's else's job. Now, for the for the first time, it was it was my it was my responsibility in part in partner partnership with some with some wonderful col col collaborators to come up with a nar narrative framework to do this uh, to to do this i had i had to think ha think harder and more more si more systemically than uh, than i i ever than I ever had before ab about the me the me mechani mechanics and magic of storytelling. 
I read the great books of jo Joseph, Joseph Campbell, The Power of Myth and The Hero with a, with a Thousand Faces, which, uh, which stressed the univer universality of human nature and hum human ye yearnings. Reading, reading Campbell turned out to be one of the formative, one of the formative, even formative event events of my of my uh, in intellectual life. Uh, his his passionate respect for story was con uh, contagious, contagious and enriching. I think, I think it's entirely possible that, possible that my own, that my own desire, desire to write a, to write a book some someday began began with reading reading his in the in the near in the near term reading reading Campbell providing me. With the with the myth, mythic framework I was looking for, the the hero's journey, what whatever whatever the the pre precise uh, precise details in a in a given instance that uh, the journey was always inward. Its goal its goal was self knowledge. But that, uh, but that was not an not an end in itself. Rather, uh, rather the self knowledge was a mean a means of reconnecting with the with the world, but at higher plane of understanding, so that one could serve one could serve as a guide to others. I I realized I realized realized that this was the whole whole point of the spirit show re, re, reconnection, not uh, non not only for not only for the native peoples, who uh, who who with weathered weathered a long and bitter campaign campaign aimed. At denying them their uh, their cul cultural uh, ident identity, uh, but for for all but for all of us who felt el alien alienated from from our truest truest uh, selves, everyone I hope it I hope it could I hope it. Could feel some uh, some uplift in in being reminded where they'd come from, who they really were. I felt some of that uplift myself. Another another instance. Another instance of gaining by giving. The the spirit uh, the spirit show. Pre uh, pre pre my premiered on PBS and did in did in fact did in fact uh, go go on to tour. The high point for me was a performance of the National Mall National Mall uh, in in Washington in Washington D.C. It would take many page many pages to explain all of the all of the things I learned along the way, everything, everything from from sta stagecraft to the to the physics physics of the of the of the giant giant the giant. Custom custom tent in which we we perform it, but there's another side to all of this that mean that needs 
to be acknowledged. The, the experience was also draining and frust frustrating as, as hell. Uh, mounting, uh, mount, mounting, the, mounting the show was ut utterly exhausting. The, the, logis the logistics were the logistics were uh, down, daunting fr daunting from daunting from from start to finish uh, to start to finish from start to finish uh, relationships were relationships were stra strained by uh, by passionate dif passionate difference of op difference of opinion money was lost both my own and that of early early uh, bakers i uh, i say uh, the, i say this not by way of compl complaint but to make a point about this personal personal kind of giving back it isn't easy nor sh nor should it be writing uh, writing a check is easy but trying to give something back, something back to the world as a as a fu function of one's own energy and and conviction convictions and unique a unique set of abilities is the is toe it's is toe it uh, it calls for 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 exactly the kind the kind of com commitment that ambition commitment that am that ambi ambitious that ambitious and hard working people usually usually res reserve reserve for their day jobs but uh, but giving back is just just as important as take, taking in why should it call for uh, call for anything less than the less than the same level of uh, same level of effort and deter determination determination i uh, i recently uh, i recently uh, heard heard a story that provides a striking in striking instance of this in intense and and hands on kind of giving back in 1990 in 1990 a journalist friend journalist friend was asking by asking by a ma magazine editor to write an article article about the former pres president Jim, Jimmy Jimmy Car Carter Carter in those years was devote, devoting a lot of time to ha to habitat to habitat for humanity and an organization that built housing for the for the homeless as well as for for recovery recovering addicts single single parent families and and other people facing facing extreme extreme economic challenge the only the only way to the only way to the former former president president was uh, the draw habitat 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 media office so my friend called them up and asked if they could arrange arrange an interview then then were happy to do happy to do so but the but the offer came at came at a price uh, in in exchange in in exchange for uh, for the for the opportunity to interview Carter, the journalist journalist would would have would have 
to give habit habited uh, one one full day of of physical physical labor. I uh, I agreed, of course. My friend, I agreed, of course. My friend recalls, but without but without quite quite knowing what I what, what I was letting myself in for. Then I got a call. Instruct, instructing me to show up at a certain at certain address in North North Philadelphia at 8 a.m. on a particular day in in August, the the former president and first lady would be working on a construction site construction site site that day i would join their crew and could do the interview when the work day was finished as it as it turned out the journalist the journalist went on it was an abs- absolutely brutal day a hundred hundred two degrees and 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 humid humid and humid with, with a glaring hazy, uh, hazy sun i met the others in the in the crew the carters included included the the had a brief meeting to inter, introduce ourselves ourselves and assign tasks Sin, since my building since my building skills were were zero my job was a my job was to carry things i ca- i carried two uh, two by uh, two by fours fours uh, i carried i carried uh, shit shit rock i carry i carried bo- uh, bundles of of v- vinyl of vin- vinyl siding si- vinyl siding but the, but the point of the story isn't what I did. It's what the Carters did. Call me call me call me cynical. Call me cynical. I I expected that the the ex president and first lady would would basically be figureheads. I uh, I thought they'd show up in in work clothes clothes and hammer uh, a sim- symbol symbolic symbolic nail symbolic nail or or two then pose then pose for a photo photo op and and uh, and retreat retreat to the shade Jimmy Carter, Jimmy Carter, after after all, had been the leader, been the leader of the free free world. He has he has landing his name and his prestige. Well, wasn't that enough? It it turned out that it was it wasn't near, nearly enough for the Carters and I have to say I have to say I I was humbled about my my cynicism the the former first first couple worked as hard as anyone Jimmy. That was that was what he wanted to be called, cut vinyl vinyl siding, bending over a, a long table that held a power saw. Uh, Ros- Rosaline, Rosaline took me measure 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 measurements, posi- positioned the siding and. And made sure it fit. She uh, she wore a big a big that that for shade, for shade, 
but still, but still her face was flushed, flushed with the heat. And the ex-president president wore uh, safety, safety uh, goggles, goggles that steamed, uh, steamed up from the hu uh, humidity, humidity over the over the course of the day my friend my friend remembers i ch i chatted i chatted uh, i chatted with the car carters but the conversation consisted mo consisted mostly of things like put that over over here or does does that look straight straight to you in other in other words the former former president former president was was making making it clearly that, that this was not about him it was about the about the task at hand he wasn't there there uh, as a cele celebrity he was he was there as a human human being uh, being applying his own skill and uh, skill and his own sweet his own sweet toward a cause he truly he truly believed in we uh, we worked we worked till we worked till four o'clock by which uh, <clears throat> by which point a house uh, which point a uh, house had been had been part partly framed framed and sided and all of us were thirty thirty and thirty and tried yes uh, thirsty sir thirsty and tired then then the then then the then the media media li liaison liaison came over and asked me if I was ready for the interview and I realized that I didn't need I didn't need the interview and that the interview in fact would would be be, be, would be beside the point and what uh, what could carter carter say the say that he hadn't already shown what could i ask him that that hadn't already been answered answered by his actions the the interview would only be words while the day had been all about all about deeds so i uh, so i just shook the ex president's hand and th thanked him thanked him for for the privilege of wor privilege of working uh, working alongside him Car uh, carter replied that that doing doing this work doing this work was a privilege privilege for all for all of us so then in the in the pre preceding pre preceding couple of anecdotes uh, we've uh, we've unearthed some seeming con contradictions about the art of giving back my my experience with the spirit spirit show so uh, told, told told me that the determination to give back could be could be um, could be tre trem tremendously enriching but that the pro but that the pro process could also le could also le lead lead to conflict and 
and led to conflict and frustration. The, the Jimmy Carter story makes the point that even, even for an, for an ex-president, ex it's a privilege, privilege to do, to do grimy uh, physical labor under, under mi miser miserable heat and glare. How, uh, how are we to deal with to deal with these paradoxes, I say, uh, I, I say, I say, accept that, I say, accept them and proceed. The, uh, these seeming con contradictions are part of the com part of the complexity, complexity and richness of life. If life if life is what we make it, and if we want our our lives to be to be as full and tex textured uh, as possible, we have to find the will will to power through them. Yes, giving giving of ourselves is a demanding business. And also a risky, risky one, an act of self-exposure, giving of ourselves shows shows what we are made of, uh, what we what we have to give. No, no, there there aren't any any, any uh, guarant guarantees that the giving will will go. Smooth, smoothly, smoothly, or accomplish all that we hope, we hope it will. And what what does seem pretty certain is that giving of ourselves will, will require us require us to stretch to to venture past our past our comfort comfort zones and. And break out of our usual, usual routine routines. For for that for that see, for that reason, I suppose it's natural to feel a certain resistance resistance to truly giving of ourselves. I know because I because I've experienced that, that resistance. My resistance myself. Some background is in order. In my family, a clear distinction was drawn between making money and ho hoard, hoard, uh, and ho uh, hoarding, hoarding, hoarding wealth. My father, of course, has proved has proved extraordinarily adept. At the at the former, but this wa but this was a function of his passion for his work, not of not of a drive to to ac acquire. Uh, ma uh, making money, making money was the solid solid ev evidence uh, that my father's ha my that my father's hunches were were correct. Uh, that his that his an analyses were sound. It was it was also the fulfillment fulfillment of his of his uh, fidu fidu fiduciary fiduciary responsibility to his shareholders, by whom his. He uh, he's done pretty well. If if other investors wanted to plow their gains into into yak into yak into yak or gained houses or whatever, uh, that was uh, their pr prer prerogative, of course. But it had never been my father's plan. My father's plan plan was was 
to give the world back to the world that had produced produced it in the first place Star, starting just over a decade ago, decade ago uh, my, my siblings and and I were uh, sick uh, recruited recru 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 into this strategy uh, at at Christmas uh, 1999, our parents in in endow endowed our first foundations. The the endowments were ten million do ten million dollars each, considerable sums to be sure, but man manageable manageable, like every other human under undertaking. Running, running a cha charitable in enterprise, enterprise entails a learning curve. Mis mistakes in inevitable, inevitably get made. It's uh, it's best to keep those mistakes to a, to a less than to a less uh, than calamito calamito scale. Over the the next several years, as my wife as my wife Jennifer and and I I grew more more comfortable and and pra practiced in our role in our roles uh, roles my parents <clears throat> my parents kept adding adding funds to the to the endowment endowment. By the time of my mother's death in 2004, uh, we we had we had steward stewardship of more than a hundred million dollars. Um, but but let me but let me make a candid admission here. I was I was extremely. Uh, am ambivalent am ambivalent about all of this and uh, all of this and it was a very lucky thing that Jen that Jennifer was not just an active part uh, partner but uh, but uh, a thoroughly committed one because because she got she got stuck with stuck with most of most of the ad administrative and highly detailed work that went with the with the found foundation uh, as as for me i was still re i was still uh, wrestling with some fair fairly basic issues remember i'd been i'd been the the shy and Rather solitary kid, who, kid, solitary kid, who took soul, soul, solace, solace in the piano. My interest in photo, photography had been, in part at least, a way to keep my distance for events to remain and remain an observer, observer rather. Than a part, than a part participant, participant. A some wise man, wise man once observed people. People don't don't change; they only become more more so, even as an adult. Adult uh, then, I loved I loved working alone, uh, com communing with communing with the. With the key keyboard, I I cherished my my private privacy. At the at the same time, I un I understood that as my father's son and carrying the Buffett name, I would also also feel a tug toward a more public life. The the foundation was becoming the becoming the um, machinery then ma 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 machinery 
then provided the tag and and for a while I I re resisted it I resisted I resisted for for a simple selfish selfish and entirely understand understandable reason I was protecting protecting the life protecting the life I already had my my career in music my my calm routine my calm routines my time to read or simply sit still with my wife I I took great satisfaction from from those things what I didn't yet realize what realize was uh, that once I over overcame my resistance and drew myself who uh, who heart heartedly into the wider world while wider world through philanthropy there there would be satisfactions far greater than I could imagine. Then came the Big Bang. In June 2006, my father made front, pa front pages all, all over the world by announcing that he was giving away giving away most of his wealth most of his wealth the headline the headline number number was uh, 37 billion dollars to the bill and melinda gates foundation my siblings and i i were foot, footnotes to the story at a, at a billion dollars each for our foundations Al along with my brother and sister i'd be i'd been tipped off to the plan to the plan a couple couple months earlier my my first reaction had been to call my father to call my father on the on the phone and Tell him I was really proud of him. It it was uh, the only thing I could think of of to say. O only gradually, very gradually, did the implications of m implications of my father's uh, father's gener 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 generosity really sink in. Jennifer and I now had had stewardship, stewardship over a quite significant amount of money. What should we do with it? Was it why was it wiser wiser to support many causes or really to focus on one or two? If the if the latter, how did we choose? How did we put ourselves into the giving rather than simply distribu distributing cash? How could we maxi maximize the help we were able to give? It was all extremely, extremely dizzying. dizzying. Now bear, bear with me a moment because I want to tell you about a certain neck my fa my father has sometimes in the in the midst of a converse, conversation my father will will segue segue into the in, into something that something and that seems only ten, 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 tangentially related this may seem this may seem puzzling puzzling to the listener, but it generally turns out that that the sigu was completely logical. It's it's just that my father drew a connection that the other person hadn't yet seen. 
It happened that before the public announcement of my father's gift, the family family ga- ga- gathered gathered in Omaha, then flew together to New York. During the plane r- plane ride, I was telling my dad about my my quandaries regarding the foundation. Out of the blue, he he asked if if I if I thought the foundation work would would have an effect an effect on my on my music. I uh, I thought it was an odd que- an odd questions, especially. Especially since my father, since my father left left he left it so open and open ended, was he was he asking if the foundation would take take time and atten- attention attention away uh, attention away my composing. Or, or was he suggesting that the foundation work might actually add something to the creative po- process? I said, well, I said, well, well, vaguely, vaguely, that I didn't see how or why one thing would would affect the other. But of course, the foundation work, foundation work ha- has had an impact on my music. How could it not? My father seemed to recognize, recognize that before I did. Meanwhile, in the months, in the months uh, following, following the Big Bang, uh, Big Bang, Jennifer and I. Thought long and hard, hard about a mission and a focus for our foundation. We'd name, we'd named, named it uh, Novo. Novo, from the Latin word for change, change, alter, or invent. But, uh, but what? But what sort of change did we most hope to see see in the world? What what strategies could we invent or adopt to help that change along? After lots of soul searching and many meetings with more ex- experienced donors and administrators, we defined a few guiding principles for our work. First, uh, first we want we wanted to avoid it, to avoid it, what I th- what I think of as think of as philan ph- philanthropic uh, co- colonialism. This is this is the tendency of generally well-meaning outsiders to to imagine that they understand the challenge. Facing uh, facing local peoples, local peoples better than the local people themselves, Im- imagining that they better understand the problems, they further imagine that they can e- effectively effectively impose solutions. Not only not only is this a a a urgent and can 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 this can descend can descending but it you but it usually doesn't work so our approach approach would be would be to prov- to provide support support for people support for people who who in, who identified their own needs and involved their own solutions. Solutions. Se- second, second, we we wanted we wanted to to adopt a long. We uh, second, 
we wanted to adopt a long-standing business principle of my father's investing investing in undervalued assets the idea is is elegantly elegantly simple elegantly simple find something the the world under 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 a precise support it don't meddle and a lot a lot time for the world to catch up in its in its valuation and when we started thinking thinking about which human assets have been under undervalued in many in many places all around the world we came up with an answer that was that was both obvious and shocking girls the the sad the sad truth is that female children are the victims of inequality in many different cultures sons go to school daughters often are be, are um, barred barred from doing so boys are given opportunities to experience a wider world girls too often remain prisoners of their families and later their husbands we hope to do something to address these inequalities Addition, additionally we saw a wonderful mul- multiplier effect in this approach today's girls are tomorrow's mothers if if we could help to promote better health better health better education and more economic independence among young among young girls those benefits would be passed would be passed on to future generations the gift uh, the gift would keep uh, the gift would keep on giving one of the first uh, one of the first in in uh, in in initiatives we we supported we supported was centered in the west african nations of nations of liberia and sierra sierra leone uh, we we helped provide uh, we we helped provide uh, funding for schools that provided provided a safe heaven for girls and that combined general general education with some with some very particular training uh, the girls the girls learned to read and write they also lear- they also learned to sew on three thirdly uh, ma- machines uh, that did not require electricity then again if uh, then again if some of the young women 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 uh, turned out to be ele- elect electric electrician electricians uh, that would be a happy outcome also the whole idea was was to foster a wider range of options able to support themselves fin- financially and and to keep their own accounts these women could could look forward to a future of independence and the self respect that went with it this uh, this it initiative was the occasion for the for the first trip to to africa and for me it was a prof- profound experience I had never seen such a such a dramatic contrast between material material um, poverty 
and on the other hand we we wealth of joy and hope and community community it shamed me as a West Westerner uh, that we had so much yet trend, trend uh, yet tended to fill our lives with petty anxieties and complaints while many of the Africans I I met for whom whom even the the basics of basics of food and shelter were not to be taken for granted faced life with with serenity uh, with ser serenity co courage and humor what could be done to bridge even slightly the the uncon the uncons uh, uh, the uncon sian sianable sianable gap in material circumstance equally important what might what might we in the west have to learn from societies uh, that were cent centered on community rather, rather than self self advance advancement sp spiritual who uh, wholeness rather than a relentless ambition back home i i try to process the complex complex emotions of the trip so what what did i do i sat down at the piano and wrote a song of course uh, of course that's what i did hadn't uh, hadn't i always turn turn it to the keyboard when trying to express thoughts and feelings that somehow slip slip slipped between the meanings of meanings offered by words it it was a it was a lot a lot like playing yankee yankee doodle in a in a minor key in a minor minor key and back back when i was 7 i i had something something on my mind and in my heart music was the way the way to get it out uh, to get it out my father's questions that uh, that had seemed to be a to be a non non sequi uh, sequitur, sequitur, uh, then, then had turned out to be a to be a prophet prophecy. My my music life and my foundation work were well on the way to 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 weaving thoroughly together becoming becoming ever more intwined like like strands of dna shortly shortly after the after this i was introduced to an artist named ekan to be to be candid to be candid i hadn't heard of him uh, this was an instant instance of our own culture being quite pro provin provincial provincial in certain ways see, uh, since in in many places around the world Ekin, Ekin was already a major pop star he ha he had heard my song about the Liberia experience, experience and he'd, uh, he'd asked me to send it to him. He ended up remixing, remixing the track, track and, and singing, on, singing on it as well. Uh, as well. Uh, thus was born an alien, aliens in aliens in music and 
activism uh, that is still, I hope, in its early stage. In 2009, Ekan and, uh, and I sang together on, an, uh, on another song I'd written and had the, uh, had, had the honor of prefer, performing at the General, General Assembly <clears throat> Assembly of the United United Nations. So 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 here I so here I find myself at at fifty living a living a life filled with more more reason resonant satisfactions uh, that that I might uh, that. Uh, than I might ever ha ever have imagined. Like e like every life, mine uh, mine has has had both a unity and an invol an e evolution. I'm the same person I was at ten or thirty, but over time, my focus has gradually shifted outward. As I've as I've grown older, I think less less about what I need because the difficult difficult and cru crucial work of youth has been largely never entirely accomplished. I have found I have found my calling and committed to it. I have I have proven what I what. I needed to prove mainly to myself, to myself, my 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 emphasis, emphasis now is to continue pushing back the boundaries, both musical and and phil philanthropy, to keep growing so that I might have more to give. To, to be honest, to be honest, I'm proud of of the life I've made. My pride is temp my pride is tempered tempered by gra gratitude, by a whole a whole heart whole hearted acknowledgement of how fortunate I've been. Still, every life ha still every life has its challenge one of mine as i said at the outset has been to make the best of the best of a good situation i think i think i've done an okay job at that but let me let me be clear i believe that all of us should be proud of our our lives at least because making a life making a life is the one one profound and and sac sacred sac sacred opportunity shared by every person every born life is what we make it no one else can do it for us no one ha no one has has the, the right to tell us what it what it owed uh, owed to be where we make our own goals we define our own successes successes we don't uh, we don't get to choose to choose where we start in life we do get get to choose the kind the kind of the the kind of people people we become